Yo, 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 what is going on guys? Adam from Six Flow Automations here and in this video we're going to be going over how to connect retail AI with N8N to make outbound calls. So by the end of this video you're going to be able to have your voice agent that you made in retail AI call whatever phone numbers you want whenever you want saying whatever you want just having your own outbound caller um ai voice agent okay so if that sounds good be sure to like the video comment i'm going to respond to all of your comments please subscribe and let's get on into it All right, so we are in our own Google Sheets. I want you guys to make your Google Sheets just like this if you want to follow along, okay? So what I want you guys to have is a column with name and then a column with the phone number. Um, if you don't want to have a column with name, you certainly need to have a column with phone number because Retail AI and the voice agent is going to call the phone number that is listed in this Google Sheet right here. Okay, so be sure to have the phone number. If you wanted to make this a little bit more advanced, so for example, if you wanted to have an appointment reminder agent, that calls people before their appointment, you can have something like location here and time here. And then what you would do is you would say the location and you would say the time. And then that way your voice agent could say something like, hey, Adam, just a reminder about your appointment at Toronto for 2 p.m., something like that. And you can adjust the columns as you wish. But for the sake of this video, we're going to keep it simple because I just want to show you guys the concept on how to connect retail um, with this Google Sheet and have it call, okay? So if that's all good, let's go ahead and build the voice agent that is going to pull from these phone numbers right here and make those phone calls, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is go into Retail AI. So go ahead, go to Retail AI, and let's go ahead and create a new voice agent just like that. And for the sake of this video, let's just do a single prompt agent and press Create. Okay, so we are in this voice agent right here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and name it outbound outbound. All right. Sorry for my lack of typing skills, guys. All right. So I already have a universal prompt ready. We're just going to paste it in. I'm going to provide it for you guys in case you guys wanted to paste it in. So, um, the, this agent does nothing. It literally just calls and say, Hey Adam, um, hope you're having a good day. That's all it is because um, I'm not walking you through how to make a voice agent. We have other videos on how to make like a better prompted voice agent. But for the case of this video, I'm just showing you the concept on how to connect this with that Google Sheet through N8N. Okay, so for that reason, it's just going to be super simple. Um, one thing that we do need to do is publish this voice agent to a phone number. Okay, so to do that. Um, I'm not you you need to already have a phone number okay and I'm not gonna walk you through how to buy a phone number because we have a video made by Noah on this channel walking you through step by step how to buy a Twilio number so if you don't have a phone number and you want to buy it go ahead and check out the video on our channel um, where Noah walks you through how to do that okay so now I'm going to assume that you have a phone number so to publish this voice this voice agent to that phone number we're going to go up go ahead up here to publish and I'm going to select outbound right here because this is an outbound caller right and I'm going to select the phone number that I had just bought which is let's say this one and I'm gonna press publish and now officially this voice agent is connected to that phone number okay because every voice agent needs to be connected to a phone number for it to operate properly okay so the next step that we're going to do here now that this voice agent is set up um this is good for now we're going to go into n8n and connect that google sheet and the phone numbers from that google sheet to retail ai and to make that connection between the two we need to use n8n so i'm going to show you what we do here um, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to do a manual trigger, trigger manually. You could do a schedule trigger if you wanted your voice agent to call the numbers every hour or every day. Um, but for the sake of this video, let's just do it, execute workflow when I, when I want. Okay. The next step is also relatively simple. We're going to go add the Google sheets because you want to connect the Google sheet that we just made that has all the phone numbers we need to call to this N8N workflow. So what we're going to do is we're going to press get rows in a sheet right here. 
and we're going to go ahead and connect that Google Sheet um, to this workflow. Let's go ahead and do that. No other steps involved with this note, super simple. I'm just gonna go ahead and execute this step to make sure everything's there. Everything's there, perfect. And now for the tricky part. So now for the part where we actually need to get a, like the, we get retail to actually make the call. I couldn't talk there for a second. Let me just, let me just move on then because that was, that was horrific. So anyways, what we wanna do here is add the HTTP request node right here, okay? And as you see, we have, all this here and this is the most complicated step of this whole process but this is also the step where all the magic happens okay so the first thing we're going to do in this node right here is change this method method to post okay so let's go ahead to change that to post and now we are going to copy this URL right in here now, if you're wondering, is it the same URL for me? Am I going to type in the URL that you just put in on, on your screen? And the answer is yes, it's the same URL for everyone. So don't don't worry about it. I'm actually going to provide this in the description for you guys. Copy and paste it into this URL, URL field. And then we will move on, okay? Authentication, we're going to leave to none. And we're going to toggle on send header. So send headers right here. We're going to toggle that on. Over here where it says name, we're going to type in authorization all right okay authorization and then in this value right here we're going to type in bearer b-e-a-r-e-r -E -E and then your api key from retail ai so to get that api key you're going to want to go back to retail ai okay we're going to go to api keys on the left side of the screen once my thing loads it's not loading so i'm all right, I'm gonna cut to when it's loaded, okay? All right, so we're in this retail AI homepage. It took a century to load for no reason, but we don't have to talk about it. Let's just move on. Anyways, so we're gonna go to API keys right here on the left side of the screen. You're gonna wanna add a key. If you don't already have an API key, it's super simple. You just press add key, API key, name it, create it. It's gonna show up here. And then you're gonna wanna go ahead and copy. So just click these two rectangles here to copy it. Go back into N8N and then paste in that API key right next to where it says Bearer. So you're going to say Bearer space, paste in the API key. All right, sound good? Perfect. Now we're going to add a parameter just like that and we're going to name it uh, content dash type. Okay, just like that. Content dash type. And then here we're going to type in application slash JSON, just like that. Okay great after that you see where it says this send body here and you have this toggle just right there go ahead and toggle that on okay what we are going to do there is we're going to leave the body content type to json and then for the specific body we're going to change it to using using json okay this is where the magic happens okay you're going to want to type in this right here let me expand this can i expand this no, I have to go full screen just like this. Okay, so you want to type in this right here. I'm going to make this available to you somewhere in the description so you can copy it as well because this is the most important part, okay? So there's a few elements here. Let's just walk through it, okay? So the first element here is the from number, okay? So all you want to do is paste in the phone number that you had bought from Twilio that you connected to your voice agent, okay? So remember when we were in our voice agent, let me go back to the voice agent here. I'm gonna cut to when it loads because my computer is taking a million years to load. Okay, no I don't, oh, perfect, we're here. Remember when you were in the voice agent and you had published it to that phone number? So that phone number right there is what you're gonna wanna put in here where it says the from number, right? Because that voice agent is the one making the call. So it's making a call from that number, okay? The two number, so where is the call going? Who do you wanna call? Well, we wanna call the list of numbers that were provided in that Google Sheet. So as a result, when we execute the previous nodes, we drag and drop this phone number right into this two number. So if it, for you guys, it'll look like this. Notice how I have the plus because all the phone numbers start with the plus and then I drag it right there, okay? Perfect. Call type, it's going to be a phone call just like that. Retail LLM dynamic variables. 
what this is right here, the retail LLM dynamic variables are the variables that you're going to have in your voice agent that is going to be different every time. So for example, you don't, you don't want your appointment reminder agent saying hi name. You want to say the person's name, but the name is different every time. So therefore it's a dynamic variable. So how do we set the dynamic variable? Well, name is right here. Okay. But what are the names? The names are all the different names here. So what we're going to do is map these values from the Google sheet into N8N here, right? That name, name value from the Google sheet, map it right here. And then it's going to say these names here when it makes the call. So we have that there. Now we need to change the override agent ID. This is a lot simpler than it may seem. So the agent ID, so you guys are going to have this here. So to add the agent ID, you're going to want to go to your voice agent in retail. And at this top left corner right here, you said you'd see it says agent ID. Then these two rectangles, just click that. It's going to copy the agent ID and you're going to want to paste it right there in N8N. OK, and then you can press exit. Back to canvas, save your workflow because I have deleted my workflows many times from not saving it. Do not make that mistake. And now if we go ahead and execute, execute this workflow. All right, it's going to go ahead and call me. Let's play it real quick just so we can see. Hello. Hi, Adam. This is an automated call. I just wanted to wish you a good day. Have a good day. Thanks. Bye. All right, so it's a pretty useless agent, but obviously that is because we didn't set it up. So I want you guys to play around with it, set the voice agent up as you wish, but that is the concept on how to connect um, Retail AI with um, N8N, right? And pulling the numbers from Google Sheets, okay? So I hope you guys found some value from that video. If you did, like the video, guys. Comment and subscribe. Have a good day, guys. Take care.